Alrighty, good morning. We're gonna go ahead and talk today about how to check the air pressure in your well tank. So the well tank's that big blue thing right over there to the right. We're gonna look down here. We see our water supply line comes on in through the check valve, the T assembly. We got a little bit of corrosion going on down there, but not too bad. So we're gonna take a look at what else we have going on. So we got the main water shut off. We got our supply line over here to the acid neutralizer and the sediment filter. These are gonna be what's gonna be treating the water uh, quality in the home. But let's go take a little bit closer look at this corrosion. So we can see some staining on the floor. We see a little bit of uh, discoloration right by that pressure gauge. We see that they have a new handle uh, for the hose bib attached. That means that the old one probably rotted out and made it to where those stains were starting to happen. We're gonna dive into the meat of how to actually check the air pressure. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you uh, hook up a hose. In this particular circumstance, we're in a client's house, so we're gonna throw down that towel, make sure that we don't make a mess. Everything's a little bit too close to the ground for me to get my hose on there comfortably, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this 90 degree brass elbow. Uh, these are very useful, especially when you're in tight spots or you have the water or the, sh the hose bib close to the ground. You saw there a second ago that I went ahead and turned off the water to the home. The reason I wanna do this is so that way when we turn the power to the well pump off, open up that hose bib, the water will be able to flow freely and I don't have to worry about draining the entire house. The next step is before we get rocking and rolling, we're gonna make sure that we pull off the cover to the pressure switch. The reason we wanna do that is I want to know exactly what the air pressure is supposed to be in the tank. How you can check that is you look right over here on the inside of the cover plate. On the left side, we'll see that it says 4060. So what that tells us is that the cut on is 40 PSI and the cut off is 60 PSI. That means that the pre-charge in the pressure tank needs to be 38 PSI. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go ahead and drain everything out of the tank. We're gonna turn off the power to the pump which should empty everything. And then we're gonna go up top to the Schrader valve. Just like with your car tire, you're gonna have the little valve right there. You can take your pr pressure gauge, push it on, and then we'll be able to see exactly how much air's in this tank. So just about 26, 27. So what that tells us is that we've lost a little bit of air. Not too bad for a tank that's been sitting in the basement since 2007. So we'll turn the power back on to the pump. Go ahead and close everything down. See if we can check the cycle length of this tank. And then we're gonna recommend that we go ahead and recharge the tank for this client. So how we're gonna go ahead and check the cycle length is we're gonna let it fill all the way back up to the 60 PSI. It takes a few seconds, but not too bad. Once it gets up to the 60 PSI, we'll go ahead and drain the whole thing again until we hear the cut on of the switch. So we see here that we're getting the stopwatch for the pressure switch to engage. Once we hear that click, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the shutoff valve. All right, so we've gone ahead and we had the uh, pump cycle on. So we heard the pressure switch click on. We start the stopwatch. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna let this thing run. The reason we wanna time the cycle length is that this is gonna let us know, is the well tank actually sized correctly to the well pump? Believe it or not, you wanna make sure that you have everything sized appropriately so that we have the pump run as long as it needs to and you have enough time for that heat to dissipate. The pressure tank should fill roughly within 60 seconds. As long as you're above 30 seconds, we're usually happy with that. Once you start getting below 30 seconds, our concern is that you're short cycling the pump and that can cause premature failure. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to go ahead and click that like button and subscribe as I have more videos on the world of well and septic posted daily. Till next time.